Then comes writing. After reading, the uh, second difficult area is going to be writing that is profession specific. Profession specific means doctors have a, a type and the nurses have a different one and they are profession specific. Here you have only one and uh, you will be given a case notes. That is question paper is called a case notes. And uh, you will be given five minutes for exclusive reading. That means at that time you are not supposed to touch your pencil. You are writing, going to write in pencil, mind you. And then, uh, of course, you can use pen also. But I think it is more convenient you write with the pencil. Therefore, you have to start practicing from the first day onwards in pencil. Uh, what's the advantage of using pencil? If something goes wrong, you can erase and do with pencil. I mean, pen, you cut them, delete them, make a mess of the whole thing. So appearance, which has a uh, mark. So that is writing after five minutes. Now you can, um, you have 40 minutes. The 40 minutes, there is a time uh, management which I'll tell you in the next video uh, where how you have to spend, uh, because our focus of this 10 videos are going to be on writing because many five people find uh, writing difficult. So how you are going to spend the 40 minutes, I'll tell you. So that is it. And here, now, uh, letters, doctors have only one type of letter, and that is called a referral letter. But uh, nurses and uh, uh, nurses, for example, have the three different types. A referral letter, transfer letter, and discharge letter. And this uh, transfer letter can be a referral also. Uh, there are some complications, uh, which uh, uh, I will tell in the forthcoming videos. And the last one is speaking. Here it is 20 minutes and you will be given, the question is called a role play cards. Role play. Role play means you as a professional, for example, if you are a nurse, you are going to play your professional and I, uh, not the examiner, I am called the interlocutor. I will be asking questions. The examiner is a different person. Now whatever you are going to speak will be recorded. And this record will be sent to two different uh, examiners for separate, uh, there are double values. So, um, I will be, the interlocutor uh, will be uh, coming and you are sitting there and you, uh, just like uh, what you have uh, do every day in your clinic or in your hospital or in your ward, whatever it is. So, it is um, uh, five minutes for each role play. So, you are going to play, that's all. You are going to play the role of a nurse or a doctor or a physiotherapist or a vet. And the patient will come or the relative will come. And then it is five minutes plus five minutes, that is it. ten minutes, two cards, but there is extra time. The beginning, one minute is for introduction. I mean, ID verification, one minute. They ask usually some four questions. Could you please tell me your full name for my verification, please? Uh, can I see, what can I call you? Uh, what's your um, candidate number? And uh, then you are taking this test as a uh, speech the pathologist, are you? So they confirm all this one minute. Then the next two minutes is called warm up. Just like in the playground, you know, before the game start, you play uh, to acclimatize. So for example, in the studio, there are wonderful young men and this is called uh, Rizwan. Wonderful, uh, eh, eh, wonderful young people are uh, surrounded by that's why I get my energy from. Anyway, coming back, that's in uh, Kollam. They are uh, uh, very good professionals and if you have anything you can come. I can, because uh, very good people, uh, you can accommodate with them. Coming back, uh, so speaking is for five minutes, but uh, you will get uh, three minutes for preparation. And in the, during the preparation, you will be given a card in which uh, what are they will say tell you what is the scenario then what is i uh, uh, give what is a uh, who is a person coming what is the problems are and then comes the task what are the questions you have to ask or this is called the two things that when we come to speaking we'll uh, tell it in detail two very important things: gathering information number one second is giving information that is what a healthcare person you are to supposed to do and then, so that is uh, one minute for introduction, the ID checking, 
टू मिनट फॉर वार्म अप थ्री मिनट फॉर देन द नेक्स्ट फाइव मिनट इज फॉर स्पीकिंग once it is over the second card role play card will not have this uh, formality first uh, two part that is uh, the id checking and warm up is not there they will give 3 minute and that will be entirely different it's for person specific this is all about uh, your now uh, the mark you know so for example 42 for listening but uh, 42 for uh, reading and for this uh, writing i'll tell you in detail that is 38 mark this 38 mark they convert it into a scale they have a, a wonderful uh, uh, algorithm which nobody can only computer can find. and convert this 38 into 500 so your score is based on the uh, uh, the the 38 mark how they convert into a scale and you that is for maximum is for uh, 500 so 450 to 500 is a a and just below 350 to 449 is called b uh, a minimum b is a requirement so your uh, minimum b for all now for there are some uh, Uh, silly hospitals or uh, European country, they don't mind. Uh, they want a C plus. Okay. Now, of course, uh, when you are working, a minimum you must have a B. But in uh, 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 when you are working for B, the fun of life is that when you desire for something, <laughs> you will get only a little uh, uh, less than that. That means if you work for a B, you will never get B. You remember, think about your university days again. If you work for a first class, you are not going to get first class. So what you have to aim the highest. So here a, you aim for a, a. That means 450 plus. That is what B Max is teaching you. So uh, it is to help you, especially for the external, not for the students who are uh, our bona fide students. We are looking for now. This is meant uh, as a part again. I repeat, uh, CSR uh, to help you. Now you there will be about us ten uh, 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 videos like this. From tomorrow onwards, we are going to uh, focus on writing. Writing made uh, easy. There, not merely you have to read it, which makes I have told you only forty percent. The remaining is going to sixty percent. Is uh, you have to contact us, write it, and we will correct it and send it to you, and uh, we will give you feedback. It is only through that you are going to be benefit. Now, if you look at, uh, we have uh, wonderful publications with us. Uh, you can see here on the screen um, one, two, three, four, five, six set of books, especially the OET grammar. Uh, uh, this is uh, especially fabricated, cooked for you. What happens? You know, most of the uh, aspirants of uh, OET are non-medical people. I mean, medical people. I'm sorry. medical people they have not studied english from 12th standard onwards so what happens their grammar is very weak so um, bmax has taken extra um, uh, trouble and pains uh, uh, to understand and uh, uh, made a lot of research and then one among the students and uh, made a wonderful book and that is called uh, uh, grammar for oet now that is a very good book uh, and uh, if you are following this one you will get a heavily subsidized uh, rate that book then we have oet book for uh, reading oet book for uh, nurses comprising all the modules and uh, we have uh, all this book and uh, the one ielts is also shown to say that we are uh, also pioneers in ielts education so that's all what we have to do it bmax promises english supplement Ah, English supplement, just like you have a healthcare person, you have calcium supplement or protein supplement. Now, as a healthcare person, you are doing it. So here, what BMAX can offer you promises English supplement to complement your OET. May God bless you all. Thank you. See you in the next video onwards. Come and be with us, and not merely listening to it, not only subscribing to it. but you have to see that you are coming for correction which is out of love thank you may god bless you all namaste